What's poppin' YouTube? I know y'all think we're late with our On The Radar this season, but you're wrong. We didn't want to recommend y'all trash like we did last season. So this season, we went ahead and let it play out a little bit before we decided to inform y'all what y'all needed to be watching this spring 2021. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. Make sure you also leave a like on the video and comment down in the section what you guys will be watching this season. All right, ready to get us started. <laughs> Let's get poppin' for real. All right, first up, we got Two Year Eternity. And Two Year Eternity was already gonna be a must watch for me due to it being from the same mind who created a silent voice. And the silent voice is my favorite anime film of all time. It's a 10 out of 10, an absolute masterpiece. No change in my mind there. I'm also gonna say this, I'm making some heat for it. I'm making some slack, but Two Year Eternity has the best anime first episode in all of anime history. I said that, yes. This episode was an absolute emotional train wreck. It was literally a 25 minute monologue and I was unable to look away from the screen. This anime has great art style, great animation, and is paired with amazing sound design as well as great voice acting. There's not much more you could ask for for this anime. Episode one is literally just a prologue, but I can't wait to devour the rest of the season. This anime literally has endless potential. I can't even tell you what's coming next, but I cannot wait to see more. All right, last thing before I go on to the next anime, the outro. It hits. It's a bop, it's a banger. I never expected to see anything like this at the end of an anime episode, but this song was an immediate add to the playlist. I won't lie to you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go on to the next anime. Next up, we got the VV Fluoride Eyes song. I, that's the name of the anime. I just call it the VV anime, honestly. But it's off to a great start. Original story, visuals hit, Shout out to Wit Studios. Music, the music is unbelievably slapping right now. I won't lie to you about that. This music slaps, slaps, like that's just it, period. But for y'all who don't know what the anime is about, this anime follows the first AI ever to be created. It was actually created to be a singer, probably hints to why the music is slapping so much in this anime right now. But we're thrown in a hundred years in the future and we see that Robogeddon has taken place and humanity has been wiped out. And our protagonist is joined by an AI who's been sent back in time to help out VV stop Robogeddon. There are certain times and certain events that they have to stop and change and alter like that. There are called singularities to change and, and stop what we're getting from taking place. I must say this anime so far has been blowing my socks off from its concepts to the super aggressive first five minutes of this anime. I mean, you watch five minutes of this anime, you'll be watching the rest of the season, honestly. You won't be able to look away. That's just, that's just like that, I promise you. I haven't really seen much robot anime. I'm not usually into that stuff, but this one, I'm watching it and it seems great, it seems fantastic. I'm really enjoying it. All right, but this one's gonna go ahead and get fall in the must watch category as well. All right, so I've been throwing a lot of gas at y'all, but I'm gonna go ahead and let off the pedal a little bit with this next one. All right, next one, we got Eden Zero. Eden Zero. Fairy tale in space. Who the hell asked for this? I mean, I this series is just meh. I literally couldn't get past the first episode. I think Fairy Tale was infinite times better, and that speaks volumes. I don't want to spend much time on this anime. I don't want to waste anybody's time on this anime. I think you guys should stay far away from this pal, man. All right, next up we got Don't Toll With Me, Miss Nagatoro. Uh, I don't think I've ever disliked an anime character in it within the first 10 minutes as much as this. Miss Nagatoro is an absolute scumbag. I hate her. She's the definition of a tease. She bullies the ultimate sim that is our protagonist for fun. She's horrible. But honestly, I still like the anime. Now, I'm not saying that this anime is a must watch for anyone. I don't think it is. I think for pe myself and people like-minded of me, this has potential to be one of their top anime from the season. This anime revolves around Miss Nagatura and her sim senpai. And honestly, their chemistry is pretty laughable to watch. Just think of Aqua and Cosmo from Konosuba. Don't Toll With Me, Miss Nagatoro is a watch for me, but I don't think it's a watch for everybody, especially if you suffer from PTSD, from high school bullying, you probably want to stay far away from this one. But I would go ahead and throw this one and give it a chance and see how you feel about it. Next up, we got Shaman King. And the Shaman King remake is actually fantastic. It's pretty cool seeing some of our childhood favorites get updated animation. Shaman King was never a 10 out of 10 anime by any means, but it was always enjoyable to watch. And honestly, this remake in 2021 may actually be more enjoyable. I love seeing our favorite 
headphone wearing shaman back on the screen. Shaman King has been scheduled for 50 episodes. I probably won't watch it weekly, but I would go ahead and recommend this anime for a nice binge. Especially if you were a fan of the original Shaman King the first time around, I would go ahead and give this one a chance too. All right, so for the final new anime I'm gonna cover for this season is gonna be The Way of the House Husband. Why? Why, 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 why Netflix? Netflix is starting to upset me with their anime adaptations. This anime adaptation is not bad. It actually has some really laughable moments and it's pretty enjoyable, but it's coupled by some of the laziest animation I've ever seen. I know some people say that's the point of it. That's the point of it. No, no, no. This, this, this isn't hitting right. It didn't hit right. It left a bad taste in my mouth. I'd have to say go ahead and stay far away from this one just because how I, you're not trying to, who's trying to watch a slideshow, honestly? Stay far away from this one, but I would highly recommend the manga. It's very funny. This one, mm, I, I don't understand it. Why Netflix? All right, now that we covered the new anime for the season, let's go ahead and cover our sequels in a lightning fast pace. I'm not a romance guy, but Fruit Baskets is back and it's continuing its tear. Zombieland Saga is back and I'm also loving it. The second season of How Not to Summon a Demon Lord is airing this season and I honestly like it more than the first. My Hero is also back, but according to manga readers, you should not be happy about the first half, but the second half is sure to be a banger. Last but not least, you have my favorite sequel, Moriarty the Patriot. And after only taking a short break in between seasons, Moriarty the Patriot's second season is sure to be fantastic. You should get more of that Moriarty and Holmes chemistry, which is must-see TV. Moriarty the Patriot should be in everyone's queue this season. Okay, and there you have it, what we will and won't be watching this season. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to help us grow. Thanks for watching, and see y'all again real soon.